Hi, my name is Sebastian Matteau and in this video I would like to show you the basic workflow of working with Rapunzel. Now what is Rapunzel? That's a code editor for numerical computing with Python and R, for, for data analysis like things in Python and R, generally speaking, that's what it's focused on. Now this is what Rapunzel looks when you start it up, so you have kind of a get started tab with some basic messages uh, and information. And one thing that's important to note is that Rapunzel is built around the concept of project of folders. So a project folder sounds very complicated, but it's not. It's just a folder that you have opened in Rapunzel and Rapunzel will search through that folder looking, for example, for files or, or other things. How do you open a project folder? Well, you can simply click here on open folder or you use the keyboard shortcut Control shift o that's what I will do, because Rapunzel is generally speaking built around keyboard shortcuts, so you can navigate very quickly using the keyboard. So I press Ctrl Shift O, and then you have this quick selection dialog that has all the um, that has a bunch of project folders that I've worked with before. So usually you will want to use some kind of folder that you've worked with before, and then you can very quickly sort of say Rapunzel, and then it will notice. Okay, I know Rapunzel. Um, you can continue working with that. If you want to open a new folder, then you say Browse Disk, and you simply select the folder that you want to open. But let's say that I want to work with, I'm going to actually use Rapunzel to edit Rapunzel. So I open the Rapunzel source code as my project folder. Hup. Now, then on the left hand side, um, it will open the Rapunzel project folder. You can open, by the way, multiple project folders at the same time if you want to sort of right, have multi your source code spread over multiple folders. Um, now, then here you can, of course, you can just click on, uh, on, on something to open it. But you can also press or use the open folder uh, or control O option, which is similar, gives you a similar dialog as the open project folder. But now you're not opening projects, but individual files. Um, and that's very convenient because it allows you to very quickly switch from one file to another. Again, you can use the browse disk to open any file, but say that, for example, I want to open open sesame ide.py. I search for a fragment of that name and I open it. Okay, and then you see that it opens that file, nothing special. One not other very important uh, way to switch, to sort of navigate your, your source code is using the, the symbol switcher. Here it's under uh, symbol selector, it's here it's under view or using the control R hotkey. So if I press control R, I get a list of symbols. What are symbols? Well, symbols are things like class definitions, function definitions, but also, for example, in a markdown file, they would be headers. Um, so headings, right? So that you have sort of, it, they are whatever kind of, whatever kind of thing divides your, your file into chapters or sections, right? And for source codes, that's often the function definitions and uh, class definitions. So for example, say that I want to go to, I know that there's an open document function, I search for it, I navigate there, uh, hop, navigate back to the class definition. So that is how you very quickly navigate your source code. Um, now that's it, that's essentially what I wanted to show you, the basic workflow of working with Rapunzel, very shortcut, very based, very keyboard shortcut based, very convenient and very, very fast. Thank you very much for your attention.